everyone, it's Holly, and today we're going to cook. What? We never cook. Okay, we're going to make ooey gooey butter cookies. This is my little recipe. First, I want to show you what we're going to need. So, since it's the month of October, I decided to make strawberry ooey gooey butter cookies. So, that way they're pink. So, first you'll need strawberry cake mix. I just got a Pillsbury Moist Supreme strawberry mix. Then you're going to need one stick of butter, preferably around room temperature so that it mixes well, eight ounces of cream cheese. I just got the Great Value brand. Um, personally, I don't think brands really matter. One egg. Then you'll need a teaspoon because you need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you'll want flavoring that matches your cake mix. So I got strawberry flavoring, and you'll just need a teaspoon of that. Once your cake mix is made, you'll actually need powdered sugar, but I'll explain that when we get there. You also need a mixer and a bowl, obviously, and saran wrap, which we're out of. So I'm going to use foil to wrap your bowl when you, free when you chill it. So first I'm going to show you what we need to do. Okay, so first we're going to start by putting our cake mix into the bowl. So next, add your butter, then your cream cheese, there we go, then your egg, try not to get any shell, teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, this is a teaspoon, I promise. It's just kind of faded because of the wash. Here's my vanilla. Now, I'm a little bit of a vanilla addict, and you probably shouldn't do this, but occasionally I like to throw a little extra in there. Then, here's my strawberry flavoring. Um, most of them will come in any fruit flavor that you want. You just have to go searching for it sometimes. So, this is what's really going to make that flavor, the strawberry flavor, stand out. You add a teaspoon. And personally, last time I made them, I only put a teaspoon in, and they weren't very strawberry. So, I'm just going to kind of put just a little more in, about a teaspoon more. That should be good. So, next you're just going to mix it all together. If you've got a mixer like mine, part of the way through your mixing, you might have to take your spatula and just scoop everything off of that mixing blade so that you can make sure it all gets mixed evenly. When you finish mixing, your dough should look pretty much like this. It'll be all pink, and I've just scraped it off the sides and moved it into a ball down in the middle. So before you refrigerate it, you want to cover it. I've just got foil. You can use saran wrap, plastic wrap, press and seal, whatever you want. I'm just going to use foil just because that's what I have. It doesn't have to be covered tightly or anything, just so that it's got a little bit of an air seal. And we're just going to pop this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Right before you pull out your cookie dough, you want to go ahead and set your oven to preheat at 350. I have made sure that everything is out of the oven and so it can heat up and it's ready okay, to go. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes now and I have my cookie dough out of the fridge and I've poured my confectioner sugar in a little bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and take this foil off and when you get your dough out, it should look like this. Not much of a difference, it's just cold now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your little scoop and if you don't have a scoop you can use just like a regular tablespoon or whatever you choose you could even make little make the little balls with your fingers um, as long as your hands are clean of course so I just kind of fill my scoop up and I level it off and I take my sugar and I part I like to take the ball out well, by hand and make sure it's packed nice and then you roll it in the sugar get it nice and covered all over you want it yummy inside and then you throw it on your cookie sheet 
Okay, so if you don't like to get your hands all messy and stuff, it works just the same if you pour a little bit of confectioner sugar on top of your dough and fold it using a spatula into the middle of your dough. The cookies will come out tasting and looking just the same. I promise. Sometimes you might actually have to stick your hands in there and ball it up though. Just because the dough doesn't necessarily like to stick to the confectioner sugar and it'll the sugar will stick down in the bottom. So if you can't get it to fold in the middle, you might have to throw your hand in there for a minute. But at least it's only for a short time instead of rolling all the dough. Once you have a full cookie sheet, you can pop it in the oven and give it 10 After minutes. 10 minutes, pull your cookies out, and this is what they should look like when you're done. I usually let them sit on the tray for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute tops before pulling them off, just in case they're a little undone in the middle.